I stole his whistle, he can't blow it. I'm just holding the ball and the whistle. He like, what? This is Mongolian Mindset, and today we're going to be typing um, White Chocolate, a.k.a. Jason Williams. When we figure out his personality type, I will be using Linda Barron's Interaction Styles and Temperament, combined with Cognitive Functions. Um, we'll be dropping a link to um, our actual breakdown of each of the metrics and the Cognitive Functions in the comments. Um, let's go see what the monkeys over at Personality Database, that's Jason Williams has. Okay, they have Jason Williams as an ISFP, okay? So, let's look at our little chart here. We got a chart. So, <clears throat> ISFPs are responding, so introverted, um, pragmatic, rebellious, contrarian um, outcome. So, they're going to be looking at end products, all about the end product. Uh, concrete, uh, interest base, uh, TEFI, uh, SENI. Uh, I think we hit everything. We said concrete, we said interest, interest slash motive, um, outcome, yeah, I think we said everything. Um, so if he meets those metrics, we'll call him ISFP, um, but this is going to be a fun one. Okay, Jason Williams, aka White Chocolate. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you a dope story, and we're gonna get this. Gonna, this podcast can go all over the place, so bear with us, because every time you talk, I'm gonna have a, a dope story. For oh, you. I'm gonna forget too, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is how this is how good of a passer he was. I'm in I'm in Memphis with him, playing for the first the first year we got we get to play in it. And that was back old school. It wasn't just all pick and roll. We had wide pin downs, forty two up, forty two down, forty three up. You know all the stuff. Well, I had shooters had. everywhere. You had shooters everywhere. But he he literally told me he said, "Man, you come off that screen, I bounce pass it, just drive. If I chest pass, you just shoot it." Oh. I'm thinking to myself. How do you see that? Because he's like, I'm like, you know what he thinks you got to look at to see if I'm going to be driving this one or if I'm going to be shooting this one? But I said, all right, I'm going to trust it. Bounce pass it, lay, chest pass it. I'm like, this is this is bananas. Well, I'm thinking, you know, you guys just got to worry about coming off that joint and shooting it, right? Like, you ain't got time to worry about, like, the defender coming. You know, I can see where the defender going to shoot the gap. Yeah. He trailing yeah. or whatnot, whatever you're going to do. So, like I said, if I throw it kind of kind of behind you or whatever, the defender right there, you're going to have to do something. But if it's there, let that fly. Real point guard killer. Oh Real my god. So right there he he's hitting uh TI statements there. If this and that. Like if you get this, then you take this. If you do this then this. He already he's so he's coming off TI. Beautiful TI FE there. Uh, they don't really I've got never that. seen they really like got that. those, you know, it's not really out there like it used to be the point guard. Well understand how good you gotta be to understand that stuff. You gotta worry about your defender. You gotta worry about the big defender. You gotta look, worry about my defender. Look, man, I y'all had to be good. Y'all had to make I just had to throw it to you. You keep saying, y'all, yeah, man, no, I ain't getting no shots. <laughs> Jay Will, I was a <laughs> defender and rebounder. I got them 9 one ones So I come right now, make it. <laughs> I guess all you used to do that to me, but I fire right back at him. Like, nah, he ain't gonna do it with for 25 seconds. Throw it to me. He throw no, it back sir. to him. Hit you with a grenade. <laughs> yeah, right back at you. Bomb. You know? That grenade's the worst in the business. Oh, the worst man. In the business. I used to hate them motherfuckers, man. You had to be efficient. You had to be efficient <laughs> on those. You only get like four shots. And two of them is nine one ones. Now you yeah. miss them, and then you got another one you might have missed. Now you one for four. You feel like you play like. <laughs> <laughs> but back to your point about good point guards or whatever. Uh, I don't think point guards can play like that nowadays. I think. Right, so you just initiated that. So if you want to put initiating for one. I think I think these dudes got to get thirty for their teams to be successful. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like if you don't yeah. get, I mean, look at these point guards. If they ain't getting twenty five thirty. They're not winning. The, the problem is, is every, everything, every, everything in basketball wise now starts with the pick and roll. It starts trying to get the advantage somehow. And yes. if you can't shoot, people go under. Or if you, and if you do go under, then you still got to be an attack guy. Everything starts now with paint. If you can't get the paint, it's all right. But I don't really, I don't, I don't, I don't get it though. Like you put Bron on the post, they got a double. They got a double. Yes. So you gonna if you just make the right pass, bomb, bomb, bomb. Uh, he's ti. You gonna get whatever you want. <laughs> I mean, it sounds easy, but you gonna get whatever you want. Any, that's uh, let's go. Hey, sometimes, sometimes <laughs> common sense ain't so common, Jay Will. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody don't. You know what I'm saying? Then it's a different basketball game. You got guys. See who, that common sense. You're talking about logic here. Common sense ain't so common. If every time Bron went to the post and every time he went into the post, then somebody might not be happy. You know what I'm saying? Even though that's winning basketball, and you should be happy with winning basketball, but you got to manage egos. You got to manage touches. It's like you got to worry about it out here nowadays. We ain't really worried about because all we cared about is winning. 
That's right. That's what what, what it's about. <laughs> nah, <laughs> well, I agree. <laughs> I agree. But I mean, what want touches? There's be a lot of going on. Sometimes you got to focus on. Uh, well, so go get an offense rebound. Get you a touch. But I will say is the improvement for us is when we had the big three. That after we lost that first year, that next year when Brown went into the post, when he yeah. spent that whole summer working with a king, yeah. and he went into that post, uh, it was lights out. Right. It was lights out. They couldn't do nothing with him. Oh, they can't they do nothing with him with. before then either. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's go back now. Uh, West Virginia. <clears throat> awesome. First of all, one of the greatest commercials of all time, I got them all over the place, was you and Randy Moss's. Like Dukes of Hazard commercial, Nike commercial. Oh man, we couldn't get away with that nowadays. No, you couldn't. <laughs> it was the greatest. Bossy, commercial. Bossy. It was the greatest commercial in the history of commercials. But talk about growing up in, in West Virginia, uh, you know, playing with Randy. Was he any good? Moss. Yeah. Like what? Well, and I, I know football is my favorite wide receiver of all time. So. No, he's not only your favorite. He's the best. The best. Thank you. Yeah. Jerry Rice, he was good. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean take nothing away from Jerry. <laughs> Nothing. Moss was the man. Yeah, Moss he got he got his time. own slogan. You got Moss, right. which means you got your ass burnt. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So talk about that though, playing with him and and what that was like in, in West Virginia. Man, <clears throat> I was lucky my whole career, bro. Just starting young, you know, I got to play with with Moss, and I got to play with the dudes that I played with. So, like, the point of my what I'm trying to make is I I threw all these passes like that, and and I get all the credit for them. But I've done played with good teammates that caught them all, bro. Starting with Moss. So, what I'm trying to say is, I got the credit, and these dudes, all, all right, he's getting informative. Okay, he, he's 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 getting informative. I don't even know what he just said there. Um, and when you hear the point is, you know you're dealing with somebody. You dealing Man. with. A- <clears throat> I was lucky my whole career, bro. Just starting young, you know. I got to play with with Moss, and I got to play with the dudes that I played with. So, like, the point of my what I'm trying to make is I, I threw all these passes like that and, and I get all the credit for them, but I've done played with good teammates that caught them all, bro, starting with Moss. So what I'm trying to say is I got the credit and these dudes, all these dudes, including y'all, y'all caught some bad ones too <laughs> and finished. Need to get more credit than I'm getting, you know what I'm saying? So these highlight reels that you're talking about. God, they're dope though. Without y'all, bro, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a highlight reel. So, so, but back to the point. Moss, bad boy, whatever you wanted. You know, you want a basketball, you want baseball. Football, ping pong. So, so he was him. He was him. He was what? one of them dudes. He's a ping he was pong him. He was one of them dudes. What? Or he was the first him. It be dudes like that, though, yeah. bro. It be dudes like that that just could do everything. I'm really sure everybody grew up in their neighborhood. It was one that could do everything. Yeah. The first time, go to the football field, throw the ball 60 yards. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Go to the basketball court, dunking, making layups, playing golf. We ain't got no golf in the hood. My hit a hole in one. It's <laughs> always somebody. Right. That you grew up with that's just naturally gifted and talented at everything. We all know hold those up, dudes. Hold up. Let me see that golf swing again. Ski. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You see, y'all know my ain't you worth know. a damn because y'all play for real. <laughs> but the people at home wouldn't knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to putt putt. <laughs> yeah, yeah like putt putt. So you go from there, and before you, we had we actually had Coach Donovan on here, and it was a great episode. But it was talking about recruiting you and, and, and some of those things. But before you went to anywhere in college, you went where? What school? Fort Union. Fort Union. How'd that, how'd that play? Well, <laughs> how'd that play out for you, Fort Coach? Union. Well, I tell you, man, Fort Union is a great place. It's a great school. It's a great place for cats that ain't got their test score yet. I don't even know if they still do their test score, stuff like that. ACT and SAT. Yeah, COVID, I think, watched all no that shit. I have no clue. This is the Wild Wild West. Yeah, right there now, now. they paying seven million. What they got to have shit, 16 like for? Dion say, <laughs> out of here. Like Dion say, 50,000 to barely get you a walk on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what they got to get 16 for? <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, what's, what's that got to do with anything? Um, <laughs> That's a funny. <laughs> he ain't lying. He ain't but, lying. But Fort Union, bro, it's, it's a military school, man. If, if your kids or anything like that are in trouble, that's a good spot to send them. But that wasn't for me, dog. Well, I didn't have my test score yet, but uh, I had to go there because I wouldn't lose it year eligibility. And, uh, bruh, after eight days. That's eight days? What? what? That's it? That's great. That's great. That's great. You did the third day, bruh, in English. I had an English class. The third day, we had a quiz with like 600 vocabulary words. Oh, no. Nah. Right, bruh. I don't even know 600 words right now. St- me neither. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> and if I know 600, I damn sure don't know the definition of that. <laughs> Some of them gonna be cuss words for sure. <laughs> but yeah, Fork Union, bro. That's like, nah, man. It's not. It's not. It's not for a dude like me. 
So, but like I said, though, if your kids or somebody like that in trouble and need some help like that or get straightened out, send them right there. What happened when you call pops? Man, I'm like, look, you got to come get me. Like, nah, I ain't, can't do that. You know, like, it was like, I, I have signed late, right? So, so there was no scholarships there. And it cost my dad like 10 racks for me to go there. So it was a lot of money back in the day. What? A lot of money today, too. Question. Like, Question. Yeah. So my dad had 10 racks. He, my dad making about, he making about 42 a year. Sheriff, yes. right? Yeah, state Sheriff. police. Yeah, so, state so, police. so 10 of them. I heard. I split you I heard. to the white meat, dog. <laughs> <laughs> split to the white meat. So I knew, I knew what time it was. I wasn't going to be able to get, have him come get me. So I, shit, shit, I'm gonna, I was like, I knew, I remember riding there. It was like seven mile ride. I'm trying to think. That's gonna be a long walk, man. Like <laughs> in the dark, I don't know where I'm going or anything. So you see how what like when when he's recanting these stories, he's not talking about what other people are doing. It's just like his own personal experiences. You know, like if you see it, he's 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 not saying anything. It's like that's gonna be a long walk. So you tried to walk? No, yes, I was fitting to, but I, I I heard I heard them stories about they get them dogs after you like that, and I wasn't. <laughs> Yeah. I wasn't trying to do all that. So. That was like life, the gun. So I just said, well, hell. Yeah, the gun line, boss. How else I'm going to do it? So I just started skip, skipping class every day. That's where it started. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Skipping class. All right, so we're going to put him for pragmatic. We know he's pragmatic, but we still got to do it. Billy Donovan in Florida can blame it on Fork Union <laughs> for me skipping class. <laughs> uh, uh, but, yeah, that I, I started skipping class, and then my dad get a call couple of days after that da, 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 next thing you know my dad shows up and I had got a tattoo before I left bro to go to Fort Union like a little Superman S by like an inch by inch but that, that's the, I thought that was like this though <laughs> you know what I'm saying so we're in there hooping I didn't know my dad was coming now I got I got my shirt off and my dad just sitting over there and I'm like oh lord I got this tattoo da 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 the first thing get on my mind as soon as we lost my dad was like you know nah, come on over here <laughs> and anytime I, my pops when he did that and my ass was getting whooped you know, like <laughs> Damn, right? So he brought me over there, like, da da da. Next thing you know, we're riding home for seven hours. So this is a journey. Uh, this is progression. This is, yeah, he's an he's ENTP. That's amazing to have a uh, ENTP basketball player there. Man. This is a journey. This, so that was the longest. I like, I'm thinking, like, every 15 minutes, he just gave it a, like, a, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, three or four whacks. <laughs> Like every, or like every 15 minutes, but I knew it was coming, so I just tried to ball up every 15 minutes and just take it. Uh, but yeah, Fort Union, man, shout out to Fletcher Eric, gave me a shout, uh, chance though, coming there, but no, nah, it wasn't for me, dog. It's not, it's not for, it's not for, it's not for everybody. It's military, dog, you gotta make your bed. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no TV in your room, you ain't got no lock on your door. No. You ain't, you, you might have to salute a sixth grader, got more rank than you, he been there longer than you, man, nah, man yeah, you don't nah, beat it. Nah, it's like, like, nah, I ain't with that. No, nah, yeah. it's not for everybody. Yeah, he's pragmatic. He's like, bro, don't, don't just, don't, the, 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 ain't take away my freedom. Not that sound like it ain't for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> sound like it ain't for it's nobody. For, it's for the ones that's in uh, Making my own bed and saluting it. Yeah, it. no clothes. You got, you ain't got no clothes. You got three or four shirts that they give you. Nah. And just, motherfucker. Uh, let me say, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, from David Robinson might have wore them shirts back in the day. He went to that. <laughs> say the Admiral. Yeah. And then you got to pay them 10 racks to come to that motherfucker? Yeah. Oh, they got like two or three scholarships. Okay. But you got to get them early. You know what I'm saying? I'd you came already, late. Yeah, I came late. I was, because I, I signed with Providence. And I had the only way I could get out of my mm. scholarship without losing uh, eligibility. Providence. So you was going to go with Billy. Bitch, I'd have rather really really lost seven years eligibility <laughs> to go to Fork Union. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> was Billy at Providence then? Billy was, was no, he was at Kentucky. He was at yeah. Kentucky, okay. Recruit me a little bit yeah. okay. my, 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 my uh, senior year. Yeah. And then when push come to shove, Patino needed a, a freshman guard to play major minutes. Yeah. Okay. He wouldn't think I was ready. Okay. So he stopped recruiting me, and then Billy went to Marshall. Yeah. Okay. That's in between time I went to uh, Fork Union. I talked to Billy already prior to my dad. Yeah. Like before I quit Fork, uh, Fork Union, I knew I was going to play with Billy at Marshall. Yeah. Yeah. So you had yeah. a plan. Yeah. And he takes you to Marshall, and then that, that takes you from there because obviously Coach Donovan gets a job at Florida. You go with him to Florida. That's where I seen this. No, listen, let me tell you something. That's you where the reason, I seen this crazy reason Florida only cut you in or cut it out. They owe you some money because you're the reason a lot of us went. That game on TV against Kentucky, nah, nah. at Kentucky, we were sold. I gotta, I gotta that game on TV gotta, at Kentucky in Rupp Arena, look, when y'all went up there look, and you got no, busy, I got a story. Don't talk. we were sold. I got a story. Bruh. I got a story. My brother is crazy. He went to the, he went to our school, Florida. It's crazy. It's 
crazy. That's crazy. Right, they're recruiting me at Florida, obviously. My brother Ryan goes and works the camp. He goes coaches camps, those summer league camps. You know the summer camps? And he's down there. He yeah, goes, yeah, he no, goes, I'm yeah. working them. That's yeah. the only way I can get bread. <laughs> he, he, came, he came back. He said, yo, this dude Jay Will is so cold doing this, this, this. So I, I go on my visit like three weeks later, and I'm like, they're playing pickup. I said, which one's Jay Will? And they said him. I said, damn, he's white? <laughs> the, way, the, way, the, way, what? the way my brother was talking to the story, I was like, there's no way he's white. And then I get there, and I'm not the, the, the coldest player I've ever seen we're playing pickup. This motherfucker's on a three-on-one fast break. And all you hear when the rebound goes, let ride, let ride. <laughs> all you want to do is get on the offense and say, let ride, let ride. We're on a three-on-one. I'm running to the left, and I think it was maybe B-Dub or someone running on the right. This throws the ball down, boom. Catches it in his shirt. Oh, yeah. Bop, punches that ball. The ball wraps around and kicks it to the middle of the right leg. Yeah. Man, I was like, man, I'm out of here, man. I'm going yeah. back to South Dakota. Yeah. I don't belong here. Look, I remember that. I don't know Florida nothing, bro. Oh, they don't know me anything. I probably owe them, dog. Poor <laughs> Tom Williams. I put him through, dog. The counselor, our, our, our class counselor. Hey, listen. Them was a football school, J. Will. Until you showed up. Mm. We ain't really counting. Um, what his name was? Lon Kruger, them. I don't even yeah, know about the yeah. Florida Gator basketball. No the disrespect. Hook, bro. The Kruger. meat hook. The meat hook, dog. I don't, listen, no disrespect. I don't know nothing about that. What I do know is when y'all got y'all together and y'all did y'all thing in Kentucky on national TV, a lot of us were sold. My generation, my era. Well, guess what? We ain't go because of the clerk and Andrew Meat Hook. No disrespect <laughs> to the Meat Hook. But that's not why we went. That's just straight real. That's that's not why we went. After that Kentucky, Kentucky game, they sold my ass up out of there too. <laughs> Get on up out of here, my man. That was it for me. But so hold on, though. the past I talk about. Where, where does it come from, for real? I don't know, man. Just like, cause that that like, who thinks of that on a three on one fast yeah. break? On your shirt. Catch the bit, boom. Yeah. I'm like, listen. If you spend as much time in the gym as me, just dribbling, just like, like I've been on this earth 48 years. Probably 17 of them years I was dribbling. Damn. You know what I mean? Just dribbling. No matter where I was at. Also, it was like, I think these kids get it, they get it confused nowadays because every kid got a trainer. Every one. Yeah. Yeah. Every one, dog. Like, and you go to the gym with your trainer, you're going to do this for the first 15 minutes. All right. Now he's going to tell you, come over and we're going to do this for 15. Then we're going to do that. Whereas, like, I'm not, I'm not hating on the trainers, you know, get that bread or whatever, do your thing. But you're asking me the question and I'm giving you the answer. When I was in the gym, I ain't had no trainer. So, so I'm thinking on off, off the rip, like, I'm coming down, da da da. Ain't nobody in the gym, and I'm, hmm, hmm. And I pick it up. I get across half court, pick up my dribble. But you ain't supposed to pick your dribble up one dribble across half court in the corner. No. So now I'm getting trapped, right? And now I'm working on all these pivots. Like, oh, I'm gonna have this do this silly ass pivot. You like, if you're looking through the window or something, you're like, what is this dude doing, right? <laughs> look, I might get caught in the game. I need to do this crazy ass pivot. The only way I can get out, we ain't got no timeouts. I gotta get through. I can't get trapped on, so I gotta get through this pivot. So my point is, these kids ain't got see, that imagination. You see that shit? He went on a long ass tangent there, informal as fuck, long ass tangent, and then they come back with the, the point is, I swear I don't know what it is with ENTPs and that shit, but like they go on long ass, and then they say the point is or the point. I'm not, I'm not <coughs> hating on the that. trainers, you know, get that bread or whatever, do your thing. Listen but, to it. You're asking me the question, and I'm giving you the answer. Informative when I was in the gym, I ain't had no trainer, so so I'm thinking on off off the rip, like I'm coming down, da da da. Ain't nobody in the gym, and I'm hmm hmm. And I pick it up, I get across half court, pick up my dribble. But you ain't supposed to pick your dribble up one dribble across half court in the corner. <laughs> no. So now I'm getting trapped, right? And now I'm working on all these pivots, like oh, I'm gonna have this do this silly ass pivot. You like if you're looking through the window or something, you're like, what's this dude doing, right? <laughs> but look, I might get caught in the game. I need to do this crazy ass pivot. The only way I can get out, we ain't got no timeouts. I gotta get through that. I can't get trapped on, so I gotta get through this pivot. So my point is, these kids ain't See, got that imagination. Is, yeah. Cause they just working on this basic pivot, you know, the da da da. So they get in the game and they'll be like, oh, what it is? Throw the up in the air. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I think it comes from, the imagination. I mean, everybody is, let me saying, obviously most of these guys working out with this. Motherfucker has his imagination. Any same trainers. He's you know we got a handful of guys that everybody kind of rotate in between. So there really is not the opportunity to be as creative. Like you said, you had that imagination when you was in the gym by yourself. I remember a lot of times we just you're by yourself, five, four, three, two, one, you make a move and you counting down the shot cock and you shoot it. You just do that over and over and there's nobody in the gym with you. You just by yourself doing shit like that. 
kids don't really get the opportunity to do that no more. No, nah, they you know trying to chuck that up there and get a three. Man. <laughs> that's what they're trying to do. My, and they ain't even practicing it. They nah, just seen it on TV that's and tried right. it up. They watch Steph on, on, on YouTube. Now they, they think they can just shoot now. Just, that's just because they watch him shoot like that. They don't know. Buddy is shooting in the gym right now somewhere probably practicing. For sure. Man. You know what I'm saying? They have no clue. None. They have no clue. Prize picks is the most fun I've had winning up to 25 times my money. So, I even got to ask you, what's your take on, on, like, you know what I'm saying, today's game? What you think you would do today's game? Man, I think I'd be a problem in that open floor, bro. Like, I don't um, think. You would be. But but I think what, what would hurt me, though, I couldn't score. Like, I needed, would need to score for our teams to be successful. Why do you keep saying that? Uh, just, I mean, just because, you man, I'm... Can't guard, Jay Will. Well, I mean, I'm a chuck it now. I'm a get. I'm self deprecating, Effie. I'm gonna chuck it up there now. Some <laughs> nights I'm gonna get you, but, you know, these dudes are more like, you know, they're trying to get in there and get fouled. And when they, I ain't, I'm trying to, I don't want no contact at all, dog. <laughs> I'm trying to get there. Skirt, skirt. You know, I, like back in my day, when you cut through the paint, you just might get a, you know, somebody be standing like that, you run into that. It hurts. But nowadays, you know, that's a foul or some shit. But yeah, like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want none of that contact. But but I average, I average. Guard you. I tell you that. No, nah, they wouldn't be able to guard. Like they couldn't guard you. They couldn't guard me then when they was backpedaling. <laughs> if, if once if you started backpedaling, I'm coming at you. You might as well just start running past me. You know, get on going back down that way. You cooked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do know what you're saying because I remember those days. This, and this, in, this, in, this, in, no, in Memphis, I thought I was hell in Memphis because I had him on one wing and people don't remember West Person. You should. On the other one. Oh, Ratchet. Ooh, West. Like West person, Gun. man. What? West. Man. I, remember I tell people West. all the time, like, the best, one of the best shooters I've ever played I remember with. West like, who person. is that, bro? Like, West person, man. One, Gun. Of, one of the most racist people I ever met, too. Oh, dog. yeah. Love him to death, dog. Yeah. I Love West him person, to no, death. For sure. Bro. I remember playing with West. One, man, I'm telling yeah, you. West you is. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was, <laughs> Great. He's great. <laughs> That's who y'all need to get on the show, dog. West P. He would be funny, wouldn't he? Yeah. So, you get. You get dismissed from Florida after what, 20 games? 17. 17 games. 17. 17 games. Damn, you, what, what? that's it? <laughs> Should have been 14, but I got suspended the first three of the season. He's still, he's still a Gator. Oh no, he's just, Yeah, he's still a Gator. He's a legend. So, <laughs> so what happened? What happened, what was the deal? Man, you know, shoot. Um, they just didn't see, you know, they didn't like my extracurricular. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now we talking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got him sitting up now. Now yeah. we talking. But, 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 but what it was is like, you know what I'm saying? I was cool with the football boys. They, they had the same extracurriculars, but they didn't never get in trouble. Yeah. But I'm thinking they was winning national championships and shit. So, <laughs> ain't no rules for playmakers. Earlier, win, winning cures everything. You so, damn right. They, they ain't no rules for playmakers. It cures it all. Though. You know, they driving Lex trucks and, and, and Beamers and shit like that. Yeah, my is with a boot on over <laughs> little Chevy Cavalier. I don't have the boot on it for a minute yeah. too. Yeah, we, we all had the fake boots. boots. We, we all had did. those boots. We all had those. <laughs> yeah. yeah, even y'all had boots. Oh man, I had a boot man. on them. That makes me feel a little bit better now. <laughs> Listen, I had never heard the, the term "left hand cigarette" before until, <laughs> until <laughs> Billy was talking about Jay Will. <laughs> 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 yeah, we had, we had a coach out here. He said, yeah, you like the life at left-hand cigarette. I say, I say, we just call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Billy was like, he liked to smoke them left-hand cigarettes. Right. First time I heard it was, he, he, he said the same thing to me. I never heard what that is. That's what he said. Like, I failed the second test at Florida. You're supposed to fail three before you get kicked off. You know what I'm saying? But he told me after the first one, it was fair. He told me if I failed another one, he's going to kick me off. I wouldn't. I, was here. Well, I, I mean, I just. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> that's coming. I just hope I get a couple more games into me. But it's happening. Pragmatic, you know? pragmatic, um, pragmatic. But yeah, that happened. He pulled me into, into the uh, office, bro, and like he had the mesh bag. You know, we put all the gear in. You know, the laundry Damn. bag. Damn. He had all my shit in, out of my locker already in that. Damn. Yeah. Picked that up. Slung that a bone hit. <laughs> Damn, I'm like, well, see, damn, dog. We ain't seen this side of it. <laughs> no, I've like yeah, like never it. seen that. I I like, like, and like that's it. when he said the first thing about left-handed cigarettes, that's what you're going to choose. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, I ain't never smoked a cigarette in my life. <laughs> like, never. <laughs> like, never, dog. Like, what is, what is he talking about? And then I, and then I finally, I, he was mad, dog. Like, man, like. And then I finally figured out what he was talking about. He was like, what are you going to do? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> You know, I don't know what my dad gonna say. You know, my dad's a state policeman. Yeah. What are you gonna, I'm, I'm more embarrassed about, I'm more embarrassed, not, not for me, not for you, not for anybody, but my, 
my dad got to go to work and face his friends, brother, state police, and that every day they talk about weed or they talk about drug, you know, da da da. Now he got to face that music. Like, yeah. damn, I'm, I'm worried about that. But got to face it, it's happening, right? I'm like, I don't know, if my dad gonna let me come back and stay there or what? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. So what happened? He said, you can come live with me. And I was like, man, that's dope. But I know I'm, I know I'm keeping them left hand cigarettes in my pocket. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. I'm gonna keep them left hand cigarettes in my pocket. He gonna continue to smoke weed. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. So one thing led to another. Nick Anderson has saw we. I so he keeps going on a, a journey about everything. So. Yeah, let's go ahead and start knocking some of these off. So he is. He is definitely pragmatic. Okay. Jay Will is definitely pragmatic. Um, he's informative. Okay. This guy. The point is, you know, he goes on these long ass tangents. It's not specific, concise, and to the point. Uh, so, pragmatic, informative, that automatically makes him either an SFP or NTP. Okay. Um, and he's coming from a first person perspective. So, you go in here for uh, S I N E. Okay. And we know he's journey focused. So, let's keep going. Have a little bit more fun because this guy is hilarious. I swear, ENTPs, when they start talking about their experience, they're fucking hilarious, man. Like, them motherfuckers just naturally funny. I got to play a game against Florida State at the Orlando or Magic Arena. Yeah, okay. And he came, saw me play, and I, I hooped, I guess, I played good. And his agent, he told his agent, and the next thing I got a call from that, his agency. And then I moved in with him in Orlando and started working out for the, uh, like, pre-draft workouts and stuff like that. Oh, Were you expecting okay. to go seven? No, nah, not really. Not when all that went down. I, I expected to play in the NBA somehow, some way. Um, but but no, nah, I mean I hadn't played against nobody. I hadn't played against anybody. But 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 my guys at Florida. That's the best players I ever played against. Eddie Shannon, Kenny Weeks, Major Parker. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, MP. Uh, yeah. Uh, there was a Brent Wright. These dudes was the best dudes that I have ever seen in my life. You know, I played AAU and things like that. But but where I played AAU wasn't. Yeah. Wasn't nothing like that. Yeah, um, it's kind of like Mike team. Yeah, yeah. kind of like that. He ain't seen nothing like that until he came to Florida. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never seen nothing like that till I seen him. <laughs> Bruh. He, he had to rebound and pass it to himself. I like that. <laughs> he, I like that. He had to do everything. I like that. Yeah, he had to do everything. Like Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch, catch, and hit that bitch. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. When I came back to Miami, it's just like how Mike said what his brother said about you. When I came back to Miami, I said I seen this. And we ain't heard about this kind of shit, but I seen a unicorn. This <laughs> can go. I had never seen it before. I heard it was white guys out there that can hoop. I just ain't never seen nothing in Miami. Never you got seen black it. and Latino. That's all you're gonna get down here. Come on, man. Give Steve Blake some 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 love. Steve Blake is That's my guy. We, we play golf a lot Listen, together, dog. It's only one Steve Blake, though. Oh yeah. Did Steve tell you that we kicked his ass out the gym the whole summer before Frank finally let him come to Miami High? So that's probably why he whooped everybody's ass. Now, now. Steve Blake a tough <laughs> You ain't got to tell me. Tough so <laughs> Quick side note, Steve Blake came to the gym all summer to play pickup with us. He, Cause he went to Killian, we went to Miami High. Frank told him, I cannot accept you in this school. I cannot let you come here. Long story short, go by the whole summer. We end up letting Steve come to Miami High. Soon as that to Miami High, Miami High on probation, Miami High cheating, Miami High this. They ain't care when all the black kids was coming. <laughs> really? Soon as we got one white boy, oh, the <laughs> hit the fan. We was on the news and the media and all that long listen as long as you kept the little ghetto boys it was okay once you got the white boy all oh, the was we was the worst team in the world like go look it up bro nobody cared about our winning we got the most state championships in the state of florida nobody ever gave a until we got steve really yeah and y'all did direct it. pragmatic you don't as has them y'all did it right y'all wasn't cheating seemed like a stp Nah, nah, we ain't have to cheat. I the believe school, it, bro. The school, the, I, I, you don't believe, I, believe that. I believe no, it, listen, it got to the point where the school that recruited itself. Year old. It got to the point where the school recruited itself. If you want to win, you come to Miami High. At the end of the day, it's only so many schools that was playing good basketball in South Florida. You're right. Yeah, yeah. it ain't like South Dakota. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got, <laughs> we ain't got a lot of hoopers. You know what I'm saying? We got, it's all football down here. So we had Steve Blake, but Steve Blake was a cold mother, Tell and he was me, tough. I know. I know. He was supposed to come to Florida with us. Steve Blake was his son played the same way. Really? For real? He's a sophomore. Yeah, he go to my daughter's high school. Really? How big is he? Uh 
He's not very big, uh, but it's the same way, dog. He don't, he don't get enough burn, though. The coach does him wrong. Tell I, Blake I, I said, think personally. Tell Blake I said hello. Man. I will. I, 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 think, I think his son should get more burn. Yeah. But that's, I ain't never coached a game in my life, dog. <laughs> here I am trying to tell this man how to coach. He's been coaching high school ball for 77 years. <laughs> that but, don't matter, Jay. I know, but <laughs> I just, still can't How many coach. years? But, uh, 77. And he, he probably still can't coach. Well, I no mean, he won state I don't know him. But, but, I mean, I ain't never coached not one not nam game, dog. But you one, could. A couple of AAU games. You could if you wanted to. Because you know the game. These kids don't listen. That's true. Yeah, that's, now that's true. I ain't got time for that. They don't listen. I got a hard time getting my own kids to listen. You get somebody else goddamn kid to listen. Ain't and I happen. kick my kids in the ass. You can't kick nobody else's kid in the ass. You get in you trouble. You damn sure can't kick your own in the ass no more. <laughs> get in trouble for Just that, Just like too. like you said when you was riding home and your pops was putting them paws Man. on your ass. You can't do that no more. No. Nah. You can't do that no more. I'm thankful for the ass whoopers I got. Me too, though. Maybe a man. Well, well, I'll be honest with you. You have half a brain, though. You're only going to do it so many times, you get a good ass whooping. You don't keep doing it. That's right. I never got my ass whooped for the same thing no, twice. No, ever. And not, not, and not. Yeah. Smart man. So you, yeah, go, man. So, so you go to Florida, you go to Orlando, work out. Like, what was your train of thought going into the draft? Man, I was just trying to get in the best shape of my life. Um, <laughs> Shape's never been your issue, though, bro. Not really. Not at all. You run off the you run, Right now, you go run all day. Ooh, I don't know about that, dog. My win. You said you went on elliptical yesterday. I told you I went on that elliptical yesterday. In this what happened to your feet? Well, I think, I think, I think if you turn me inside out, I look like a raisin. <laughs> <laughs> like, like just dried up, dog. Like, seriously. You said if you turn me inside out, that was abstract, bro. But, I, drink yeah. this, I don't drink enough water, dog. It's like straight soda. I drink a lot of water. Cry about that SI. I drink a lot of See, water. I wish I, I mean, did. You know that gas keep your mouth dry, man. You gotta, it does. You it gotta, does. You gotta drink water when you got gas on your chest. Inside out, I look like a raisin. You, gotta, you know why you look like a raisin? That gas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might yeah. look like a, I might look like one too on this. But side. but yeah, I'm just trying to get in the best shape, dog, and because I knew I was going to have to work out against some of these dudes that I was in the uh, draft against, and all these, like I said, the Mike Bibbies, the the Rafer Austins, the Ty Lues, all these dudes, mm. they done played against each other, and everybody knows what it is. Ain't nobody seen me play. But Chuck Landon from the Gazette in West Virginia, that's it. <laughs> that's all seen me, you know. Um, Chuck who? Chuck Landon. Yeah. From the Gazette. Yeah. Daily Mail. And Shout out Gazette. That's right. Chuck. Yeah. So, so what you go, give me some workout stuff because on this side of things, like for all these kids going out, you know, the season's about to come to an end. Process. You go work out, but then you go to these workouts. Talk to about you might work out for the teams. Yeah. Like these different draft. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I think the Clippers, the Clippers, and uh, I forget who had the second pick, man. I forget. I could maybe the Grizzlies. I don't remember. Well, who went? Yeah, to it was the Grizzlies because yeah, Bibby, right? Yeah, Bibby. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, the Clippers. Nah, uh, nah. Well, I'm not going to work out for the Clippers. Fuck, they not taking me one. <laughs> yeah. they, they, well, now they want you to come. They want you to come work. Nah, why? Yeah. Why not, not wasting my time nor their time. They not picking me one, right? Nor are they gonna go out there, you know what I'm saying, and make me look like an idiot or some whatever yeah. for whatever reason, right? Um. So I, I didn't work out for them, but but there were some dudes that wouldn't wouldn't. They found out I was. I found this on the late on the back end. I'm I'm finna show up for this workout. There's some dudes that wouldn't show up for the workout. You feel me? Like, or like they some, didn't want that smoke. They didn't want that smoke. Yeah. No, they didn't. Yeah. But I didn't know that then. Like I didn't even know what that was. But I wanted it all. I I wanted to play you, that's you, a, and yeah. y'all want to go three on one. I'm yeah. coming at that's three a, on one. I think same, I can do it. That's the yeah. same way I was. Right. Like, I love like that. And that's what it is. Yeah. And, and if you beat me, so what? Let's just strap up again, right? Um, but yeah, some of them dudes didn't want to come to those workouts, but some of them did. Some of them got what they wanted, you know what I'm saying? Um, but that definitely what? helped me help my draft stock a lot because I was in the best shape of my life and I was going to these dudes' racks, you know what I'm saying? Um, and some dudes, they, they pulled in some dudes from like some teams like Stanford and, and Long Beach State, you know, mm-hmm. guys that not necessarily was going to get drafted just to make the workouts even, like maybe we're going two on two drills, three on three drills. Here I am trying to dunk, catch lobs on like six ten dudes. You know I ain't got no chance of trying to dunk these dudes, but I'm still just just trying to do it because I'm just trying to show them like, yeah. damn, this dude can do that. Like yeah. I ain't got I got a better chance of pissing in a hot sauce bottle than dunking this ball, dog. <laughs> and here I am trying to do that, but but things like that, like full court, anything full court one on ones and stuff like rap. that. Yeah, Ooh. it's a wrap. But but shooting drills is where I I, I kind of struggled. I ain't, I ain't I ain't dig shooting drills. I ain't, I ain't, I, ain't, I don't know why I didn't like shooting like stand still spot up shooting. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and looking back now in my career, I wish I saw all I would have done the ball handling because all I did was pass the bitch to go stand my ass in the corner most of my career. Stop lying. You know hey, man, man, if y'all listen. are over here watching this, 
the hesitation, the hesitation pull up was the hesitation pull up was crazy. Yeah, I used to tell folks too. Like, I get the rebound, Allen pass it. You see me throw it in my left hand. You, it's a hole. It's a yeah, hole. just stop running down because it's going up. <laughs> yeah. It's going up. <laughs> so then you get drafted to I think the dopest jersey. Still my, one of my favorite jerseys. Even though I won a championship. This is, no, this is not gas. This is not gas. That's the dopest jersey. That's where you kind of hit the scene and just blew up. Yeah. The white chocolate came out. You came up with this one. Yeah. You came up with this That one. team was dope, too, by the way. It was a good team. And, you know, we got lucky, too. I don't think people realize, too, it was the lockout year. So we only had to play, like, 50 games. So we was rocking. Like, we might play Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in L.A., Seattle, Denver, man, so to get it on. You know what I'm saying? We didn't come east, but, like, we would only come east, like, two weeks it was like one two-week trip and we played how many ever games in two weeks we didn't ever play everybody in the east because it was like i said 50 games we had to play everybody in our conference mm. and we didn't really have a backup point guard that year too so my coach had to let me rock well nothing he could do who, who gave you the name white chocolate man i think it was from? some lady in the uh pr department out there really yeah i don't think that would fly today in today's society <laughs> either dog you know these you soft ass right. people right you might be right. Nah, I ain't, might. ain't no might that. about it, dog. They that shit ain't, that shit ain't flying. Yeah, they sensitive today. You know, <laughs> well, we loved it. I do too. We loved yeah, it. I liked it. I mean, it didn't bother me a bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. I don't, there's probably some folks in West Virginia that ain't they ain't, they ain't feeling it. Mm -hmm. um, but that's ain't cool. no probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right back at him. Ain't huh? no probably. <laughs> right back at him. <laughs> ain't no probably. For sure, for sure. White chocolate. Yeah, he won those. Yeah. We, we 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 adopted him. He over here. <laughs> I remember my my dad. My dad rest his soul, bro. My dad came down first game in Florida, watched me play. We come out of the game. We're walking. You know, we're walking to the dorm, and Fred Taylor, Javon Curse, and Ike Hilliard about about thirty yards down there, and they like, hey, white boy. <laughs> my dad says, son, <laughs> are they talking to you? <laughs> I said, yeah, dad. Let's just keep it moving. What's good? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. That's a term of endearment. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I appreciate you. Hey, you I know what I'm saying? And you know what? I appreciate y'all because without y'all, the bros, I wouldn't be sitting here today, dog. Seriously. Listen, I tell Mike all the time, like, at the end of the day, we understand, yeah, you white, but we, when we, when I see Mike, I was, at the end of the, like, we don't see white boys that can hoop that much growing up. You ain't got to whisper, dog. We don't, we don't, we don't see that. <laughs> Dog. Like, you ain't got a whisper, dog. Like can hoop that much, so like oh, we God. love that. There ain't no hating. Like we love that. When we see a white boy that can hoop, we love that. My daddy favorite player, and I don't tell people this all the time. My daddy favorite player hey, was Larry good, Bird. Man. He, and I don't like he's ENTP, Celtic, but my daddy, he's ENTP. He's hilarious, man. It's good to have an ENTP basketball player. Uh, so ENTP is initiating. Um, Funny as fuck. I always tell everybody, I don't care what no one says. ENTPs, even if they white, I mean, if they're white, they got a black soul. I don't care what no one says. Like, I can be anywhere at a bar, and I can look at a, a white dude. And if he, like, presents himself black, most times he's either ENTP, ISTP. Straight up. He's one of them two. If, if he's presenting himself black, like, like in, a, in a black manner, or like... He, whatever, I'm telling you, most of the time, the ENTP. It's hilarious. Um, ENTPs are abstract, are systematic, um, uh, informative, pragmatic, progression. Like you see there the whole time, he was never talking about outcomes. He was just on his journey about like, you know, getting drafted and everything like that. He's a TIFE user as well. Um, so we got Jason Williams as an ENTP, okay, basketball player. You know, all the stereotypes say e, uh, NTPs can't play sports. I call bullshit. My brother was like the best fucking athlete in our school, and I was the fucking worst. Okay, and I'm the ENTJ. So just the life that I lived. Um, I'm gonna hit him with seven W eight um, SO slash. SP, um, subtype, Whew, this is, I'm gonna hit him with creative, I'm gonna hit him with creative subtype, okay, I'm gonna hit J Will with a creative, white chocolate with creative, okay, and I'm gonna say he's above average ENTP. 
still in trouble and shit like that, but above average ENTP. So we got ENTP seven W eight S O S P uh creative above average. It's absolutely a pleasure to find an ENTP basketball player. Victor, you got your ENTP basketball player, man. But uh this is Mongolian mindset and we are